Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday. Hope everybody's all uh, made, it, made it back, feeling a little bit better after a big, long weekend, Thanksgiving. Everybody doing well? Bonnie, good to see you, Ken, Phil, everyone. All right, all the Cyber Traders. Well, time to go back to work. <laughs> Hopefully everybody had some fun on Black Friday, spent some money. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the uh, Black Friday deals here at Cyber Trade University. I know we got Cyber Monday too. So hopefully you guys did a couple of, uh, did a little shopping and spent some of that good money that you did in trading. You know, good to see you. Good to see you all, Michael. Good to see you, Chuck, everyone. All right. So before we get started, everyone, we are going into the final stretch of the year. And you know what it is. It's a new month. When it comes to be with a new month, this is where we start the new journals. Okay. So uh, here, if you're a student at Cybertrain University, you should have got your journals. And uh, the, the, which is pretty cool, the Excel uh, journals. I know, we, you know you, you've been taught in class you have to do it. And also something we look at when you, when you do your coaching with us here at Cybertrain University. And we you know, basically have to just forget about what happened in November. And what you have to look at right now is this. Are you ready to go to the next level? Are you still breaking even or you got to take a step back? OK, so there's three things you have to look at going into this December from November to December. And those monthly journals are very, very critical to kind of let you know where you're at. Because remember, most people fail in trading and, you know, just because they they're like they go all in. They think it's like, you know, they think this is like, you know, paper money. You know, what I mean? you ever see those guys at the casino? And they, they don't, they, they, they're driving some, you think like, who is this guy? Meanwhile, he's dropping, you know, we won't even buy himself a $5 uh, lunch, but he'll, he'll, he'll pay $25, $50, $100 hands, but he won't go out there and buy a $5 lunch. Like, you know, trading, people think the same thing. Like, listen, there's a lot of money on, on, on uh, when it comes to trading. So you got to take it very, very seriously. So if your goal is to make whatever you're looking to make, you know, um, if you didn't meet it, meet, meet that goal. Listen, that's okay. This is not a sprint, okay? It's a marathon. Remember, you're doing this for the rest of your life. Now, uh, so that's basically the tip of the day and getting ready for the new month. Well, now let's talk about what happened yesterday. And before we do that, uh, you all, I know we, all you guys have been trading this uh, AKTX. And I just want to make a comment regarding about this AT, AKTX that we're looking at. Remember what I always tell you. Always, always, always take the money, Okay. Because a lot of us were trading this early this morning, around 8.30, ran from 270 up to $3. I saw some of you guys did really well, um, who did pretty well. Uh, Neil Neil did pretty well. He just made $0.23 cents in it. And also, I mean, Neil, you, you're killing it in pre-market, huh? $0.29 cents in CLVS2 and AKTX also. You made $0.31. Cents. I mean, that, that's basically what it comes down to it. Andrea made $0.20 cents on it on AKTX. Uh, ben made 30 cents. I mean, listen, it's nothing better than trading in pre-market and making a good day's pay. And uh, Charles, Charles, you know, made 90 cents on Roku. You know what? Roku is on my list, too. I'm going to talk about that. R-O-K-U. That was another good one for a nice little short right there. So a lot, lot of stuff going in the pre-market. Remember, early bird gets the money. Now, let's talk about what did trade on Friday before we start going through the watch list and start, you know, um, talking about what we're going to be doing and how we're going to deal with this December. Let's start off with the CLVS trade. Now, CLVS is going back on my watch list. Now, a lot of you guys remember this stock that it got very, very, very volatile. This stock has not only became a day trade, but it's been a phenomenal swing trade. You could see here that we just traded in the beginning of November it was $4. This thing went all the way to 17 Stocks got crazy volatility. You can't trade that many shares. It's almost very, very hard to day trade the stock because it got so volatile. But um, but it's been moving very consistently. It's not one of these uh, short squeezes where we see them go up pretty good, up two, three, four hundred percent, and they come back down. But just be very careful on this CLVS. You can't trade that many shares of it unless you're an advanced trader. Another one, another stock that's uh that we traded that did really, really well. Actually, we killed it on this one though. Is the ASLN this stock? You could see went from a dollar to six dollars. Uh, let me just bring up the long term chart here. I mean, this thing just literally we killed it on this one right here. Um, three dollars all the way to eight, sat up to seven. It just did not want to stop. That's what you call a short squeeze. But uh, you know what a fun fun stock that was for us. We killed it on that trade. What else we had that did pretty well? So ASN. Uh, oh yeah, the HEPA. 
That's what we traded when the market opened up. That stock did really well. That was a nice little market mover right there. And it also you could see it's a swing trade. And NVAX. NVAX, I probably thought was probably the easiest stock to trade out of them all. You could see that stock just ran from four all the way to 480. Little inexpensive stock, good spread, good volume, everything. And you know what? She's trading at the high, so that shows you it's still a little strong. So NVAX, remember, whatever you find on Friday uh, can spill into today. And it looks like this probably, this probably, this and the CLVS is going to go back on the watch list. Okay. All right. So that's what happened on Friday. Now let's go out there. Oh, Ken, Ken made 86 cents on ASLN. All right. Good for you. Nice way to start the day. Give, uh, you know, by the way, I'm going to give you guys all a round of applause. We made money this morning. Congrats, buddy. Way to go, cyber traders. All right. So let's see what's going on this morning. So we got the ASLN which all of you guys been looking at earlier on um, this stock has obviously had some really nice, you know, it's got a push. It's holding. It's up 84% right now, but we're going to throw that back on the watch list. A uh, A M R H is another one that I found this morning, but she, she shot up and she came right back down. So I don't know what that's all about. You know what? I might just scratch her off my list. You know, she, she obviously just changed on me. I thought she was pretty good this morning, but obviously she's not. The LVS, we already know about. That's going on the watch list. APA is one that's getting really crushed this morning. Could be a nice little short, down 10%. Quarter million shares already traded. You can see on the right-hand side, we got some good iceberg orders out there. Not huge. A lot of small ones, but not big. So I'd probably wait until the market opens up on this one, how to trade it. The AKTX, obviously, has been the best one of them all so far in pre-market. But once again, like I said earlier, early bird gets the worm. And you can't go broke taking a profit. And you can see it right there. There's one of them. Uh, what else I got here? Roku, R-O-K-U, which was some of you already traded already. Listen, it's $146 stock. You know we're not fans of $146 stocks. But there are some of you here that are, are level 5 cyber traders and could afford to trade it. The stock is probably going to be up your alley. You just need a lot of money to do it. If you don't have the money, guys, don't be saying, oh, well, maybe I'll trade the options. Listen. Don't worry. There's two. There's twenty five thousand stocks out there. You can't trade them all. All right. M Y O V is another one. Uh, I saw had a little bit of a move. You could see the stock we traded it. Uh, you guys should be very familiar and make sure you go check your notes. But this is that stock went from six, gapped up to about ten, and you could see it almost went way to twenty. It was a really really nice mover on um, on Friday, and uh, but it came right back down. She's pretty strong. So I, as of right now, I'm. It's not a pre-market trade, but I want to see how everyone reacts when the market opens up. TCG also, just kind of, you know what? It's not more of a day trade, but it's being more of a little bit more of a swing trade. Uh, you can see PCG, guys, regarding, it's starting to be a little bit of a Fausto flag right here, if you notice. Yeah, a little Fausto flag. So we got some major resistance levels right around 8, see if it fills in the gap. But PCG, we all know about PCG, been trading it. We've done very well with it. It has to do, it's, it's the... The electrical company of California, you know, got so much scrutiny with the with the with the fires out there. From if you guys don't probably know that already, I know we have a lot of new members here, and NVAX is going back on the watch list. So for a Monday, you know, it's it's actually a pretty decent list. You know what I mean? Now listen, I want you to understand something today. Um, so Christmas is on the twenty fifth. Okay, that that means you technically only have three weeks. Three weeks. That's basically it of trading. And then, you know, and then you got Hanukkah on the 23rd. So, I mean, it's going to be really, really, really hard to kind of, you know, focus on the last week. I mean, listen, you still make money, but you're not going to get the five to ten stocks. You might get two. All right. So I want to give you guys a little update on that. Be very, very careful. Try to make your money immediately. You're going to get a lot of action going on for the next couple of days. Obviously, you heard that they had a record, record Black Friday Retail is going to probably do good, um, but we'll see how everything goes. But listen, so it, we got a short, short month. Uh, not that many days uh, from, you know, I think they lose about a week with that, the way Thanksgiving fell and where Christmas is falling. All right, guys. So um, there's your list. Now, once again, we got a lot of new members starting today. We always tell you, just look, listen, and learn. Don't trade every, anything we're doing. You're not here to, you know, you're here to see if trading's for you, or, which it should be. But if it's not, that's okay too. <laughs> but let's see. But just monitor the other traders, see what they do. Don't look at uh, us instructors. Remember, you need to see if if if, um, if you guys can do it on your own. And the only way you're gonna know that is to see everyone else. All right, guys. 
So good luck, everyone. You got Cyber Monday. Go out there, enjoy it here at Cyber University. Hopefully enjoy Black Friday. And uh, now it's time to go back to work and make money with a brand new month. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Uh, ben said he made about 45 cents in ASLN. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, good job. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And we'll see you. Uh, we'll start commentating uh, in the trading room in about 15 minutes. So go, uh, go fill up on your coffee and we'll get started in a little bit.